Hi, my name is Abigail and I am a Hershey's Lab educator here at the Amazium. Today we are going to be doing an experiment where we learn about our five senses in a fun and tasty way. This is called Flavor Scientist and we are going to be making our very own chocolate bite. Before you get started, you'll need to gather some materials. You will need chocolate chips, of course. We use dark chocolate here in the lab, but you can use milk chocolate, white chocolate, pretty much anything you want. Your flavor add-ins, this can be spices, fruit, other chocolate, marshmallows, cereal, chips, pretty much anything. Sky's the limit there. Microwave safe bowls or cupcake liners, spoons, a refrigerator, and a microwave. To begin, we need to melt our chocolate. The next step is to divide your chocolate into your bowls. If you have reusable cupcake liners, this would be a great way to do this, but if you don't, you could just use a bowl. So you're gonna take your chocolate, and just add a little bit. You need much less than you think you do. Next, you're gonna need your add-ins. Here in the lab, we like to do this by smell. So you can take all of your flavors, like your cinnamon, and smell them, and decide what you think you want your chocolate to taste like. Do you want it to be sweet? Do you want it to be savory? So take a few minutes. Figure that out. I've already decided that I'm gonna use white chocolate. So you're just gonna add a few in there and then you're gonna stir. If you add something solid like white chocolate or fruit, it's not going to combine or melt or anything. Just make sure it's all covered with chocolate. But if you use something like cinnamon or another spice, make sure you get that all stirred well. If you're adding spice, make sure you don't overload it one or two shakes is all you need. So the next step, you're gonna put it in the fridge for about 10 minutes. This will vary depending on your fridge, obviously. So when it is ready, take it out and take a few minutes and observe your changes. What is different? Does it look hard? Does it look squishy still? Note all of this before you eat it. If you try this at home, please share with us on our social media pages.